Come with a boss, not an amateur Drive to the spot like a traveler Don't take no starting You don't know who will jump in You will be the passenger Interviewing up and coming TV stars In the back of a tinted car Five to ten minutes and buy with some Snickers But you for water media Passenger flocked, you know, I'm so angry right now. No one, nothing, look at that. Just crazy, crazy. I've been waiting here for an hour, bruv. Anyway. I saw her flipping, um, Mighty said we can go Yeah, so she go check him, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm running a bit low as well, yeah. So let me just go petrol before we, we jet off. So what are we going to do like, next week or next Friday now? They're just I don't know what's going on, you know, waiting here for like an hour, but you know what time I got up. I had a match, I had the game to watch today as well. I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on. But I'm just going to get this petrol real quick and then we'll go check. We'll go check, um, we'll check that guy, yeah? Yeah, cool. Let's do that. Getting petrol. Gosh, more waiting. Crazy. One sec. Oh. He has no idea. He has no idea. Hmm. Wonder what he's gonna say when he comes back. It's true. <laughs> it's very obnoxious language. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Maybe if I bend down, he might not see me. Yeah. Maybe. What do you mean anyway? Why are you saying him up? Well, you know what? If I didn't have a flat tire, I would have gone in my own car. But you know, it's considering I know he's going the same direction as me, might as well take me back home, get some puncher kit or something, and he could probably drive me back. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> so I thought, hey, might as well shock him and just, you know, catch the ride. Really? Can't really say no to me now, I'm in the car, so. That's what you say, you should lock your car when you leave your car. Trust. <laughs> okay, okay, you're coming back. Bro, these guys tried to bump me, man. Oh. They just give me a pack of sweets for like two pounds and just crazy, man. Hi, oh my days, what the heck is going on here? What's going on? Hello. What the hell was it? You creeping? What's going on? You know what? Like I said, I got I, I got oh a days. flat tire. I need to get back home. Jeez, I saw your car attack. and I thought, just get in. <laughs> why not? Oh my days. I was getting the car someone I know. Jeez, hey, you guys, what's going on, man? It's really good. Can't you see he's pulling on your heartstrings? Yeah. Like a musician, like a musician Can't you see he's pulling on your heartstrings Like a musician Making you think that you were with him, were with him Playing your heart like a violin, violin oh. Can't you see he's pulling on your heartstrings Heartstrings Man, wow. I haven't seen you in ages. I know, man. This has been crazy. You've been busy. You know how it, you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. 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 Oh my Definitely. Days. So tell, tell us about you. Know, you custody, you know. Well, when did the singing career begin? Um, well, it, it began roughly around eight years ago. I was in a group um, with four other girls first, and then I went solo after that, okay. um, which has been also about four years now. So, yeah, I've just literally been pushing through on the singing grind. I've been trying to get it in, man. 
Literally. I mean, like originally. So how, how do you like? When when did the talent you know first uh, uh, erupt? You know, yeah. Mm. You know, say yeah, I'm a singer. When, when did it? When did that uh, start happening? I was. I can't remember how old I was. Mm -hmm. but I was much younger, and um, I must have been singing around the house. And my aunt was like, "Hey, you can sing." <laughs> so then um, I was like, "Okay." And then she signed me up for this talent show, and everything kind of just rolled off the tongue from there. She, I went to the talent show. She put me. She actually put me through to a few talent shows. And then from there on, everyone's like, oh yeah, mm, Hayley, you can sing, yeah. Right. And then everyone just kind of gathered around me and that's how the group formed. And then after the group, everybody obviously got older and separated and then I'd done this solo thing and now I'm here by myself, yeah. Hayley Cassidy. Yourself, so. Yeah, the rise I mean, like, what, So what, what exactly made you choose this profession and what, what was it that made you, um, I mean, like, yeah, I want to be a singer, what was it? Do you know what, I mean, after my auntie actually showed me, okay, well, you actually do have talent. Um, it, it just kind of follows through from there. It was just something I was inclined to do. Um, so then from there on, it was just like, okay, I actually love doing this, to be fair. And then I just I just love the fact that I could express myself in that way and then being able to play around with like my performances and all of that stuff. So it, it was it's just something that literally came naturally to me, almost. So yeah, I just, I'm just trying to do that as a full-time vibe now. Really. We'll start from, from the auntie, so you got a lot of... Uh, got a lot of love and appreciation for the, yeah, for the aunts. There you go, there you go. Okay. Yes. So I mean, like, with, with shows like um, X Factor, Britain's Got Talent, you know, what's your views on that? Would you ever go on a show like that? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> um, Why not? Why not? I don't know. I mean, shows like that, like I said, I, I feel like um, they are a road that people can go down. Um, I do feel that for myself though, that there are other avenues I can explore before I go on shows like that. So I feel like if I were to go on a show like those or the caliber of those shows, um, that um, I'd have to be like in my late 20s, early 30s and the music hasn't popped off yet. Okay. And you know what I mean? I'm, I'm still in the same spot. So um, that's when I would go on there because obviously music is what I want to do. So you're going to try and exhaust every option before you're like, okay, we have to just leave this alone now. Okay. So, um, but I don't feel like that's an option I want to take right now because there's so many different avenues and things I can do. Okay. So yeah, that's that, that's really me. Like I, I don't, I, I'm not going to put like a thumbs down to those shows because they do some some artists really good. But yeah. for me, um, with where I am and where I want to go, not I would yet. prefer, yet, yeah, yeah, I prefer not to use those avenues okay. to be fair. So. I prefer not That's to. Fair enough. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, you've got this new track circulating, Heartstrings. Yeah. I mean, that's obviously, you know, yeah, it's got a lot of concept yeah. behind it. Let's let's have a let's have an insight. What what is that all about? How did that concept come about? Um, it came about like uh, I was in the studio with um my team at the time, Free Minds, and um I was just literally trying to write a song, and I didn't want to write a typical song like I normally would, mm -hmm. just like blatantly about a relationship. <laughs> what have you and this and he hurt and blah blah so I was like okay let's try and think of like some kind of clever metaphor and I was sitting there I was literally trying to think of anything I was like I was looking at trees I was looking at shops I was looking at windows and I was just trying to put them in a way that when you put them in a song they you're like okay that sounds really clever so um that's where the whole instrument thing came in and I was like okay heart strings and I was like okay let's try and vibe with this now and I just um, literally tried to make the instrument a person so I personified the instrument and it kind of just rolled off from there yeah literally so it's an interesting concept yeah like heart I strings and, you know all this love going around you know yes. okay trying to put your two pence in I did I did try it man I did try it <laughs> okay so I mean if you weren't singing and if you weren't a singer an artist what do you reckon you would be what would you do um you well before when I was in the group, um, I used to organise events and even when I was in high school I organised a few fundraisers and showcases and what have you. So that's something that I also have a passion for. So everything I do will probably still be in the entertainment sector anyway, but um, organising and coordination and project management and that stuff, like that's, that's stuff I really want to do. So I feel like I'll do that stuff in like my later years. Um, I think it'll be great to do something like that when I actually have a name for myself as well so it will give the show a bit of reputation or what have you but um, definitely organising shows for, for other artists and just catching a vibe or whether it be for a cause or charity or what have you but that's definitely something I want to do as well so so yeah that's probably where I'd be where you'd be yeah okay. I mean, like, uh, what media? We've got um, a sneak preview of your banging, banging, banging new one. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. One foot stuck on the ground. Gotta make my move soon. And I can't take too long. Cause I know my time is now. Gotta take time to plan the future. No wasting time. I gotta make sure there's no point living in the past. The present is where I am.
Okay. I mean, like in terms of your sound, how would you describe your sound as an artist? Uh, my sound as an artist, from what my sound used to be, for anybody that used to follow me when I was Haley C, um, I was more neo soul R and B. Uh, very Jill Scott, very Angie Stone, very music soul child. Um, but now it's like I've somewhat evolved almost and I'm more mainstream, I'm more R&B, commercial R&B. I would say pop, but I would I prefer the term mainstream because mainstream. there's certain tracks that aren't necessarily pop orientated, but they still have a commercial feel to them. Okay. So um, yeah, so definitely heavily influenced by R&B as it would be yeah. and um, and then it has elements of like maybe pop maybe yeah. one of them has a little bit of like rock in it just the edgier side so okay. definitely edgy R&B cool yes I mean so going on the uh, on the, <laughs> the the track of love you know is there mm. Mr. Cassidy roaming around somewhere there no? isn't no. Oh. no should I get my violin wah, out now wah, should I <laughs> <laughs> oh, why not, Haley? What's going on there? I don't know. I mean, I mean, I mean, ask the guys. I don't know. <laughs> I don't guys, know. what's going on? Guys, <laughs> hello. Where are you at? Hello. No, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's just me on my own. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I try. Would you, would you talk about relationships <laughs> and um, you know your personal life in your music? Um, you never do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, some of the songs are from my experiences, to be fair, mm -hmm. and um, especially um, some of my prior songs. They were definitely like all about me. Do you know what I mean? So I'm, I'm not ashamed to say like they were about me. So um, yeah, like I have no problem speaking about my relationships. And my, I'm, I'm, I'm not a person to make everything like so big. Like yeah, I'm start putting names in there <laughs> and stuff. Like, yeah. but I've, I figured like that. Guys. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's just all a bit too peak. Too like. So, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. No, right, definitely. Cool. I mean, like you know, so you said your tires pop. So we're trying to get you to a destination now, okay? Yeah. But before we leave you to, you know, uh, carry on with your headache about your, your, your you know, your tires. Uh. We're not gonna, <laughs> we're not gonna leave you just yet. We're gonna do a quick, quick fire round with you. Okay. 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 So basically, gonna ask you quick questions. You gotta answer it straight away. The first thing that pops into your head, okay? Okay. Wait. 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 <laughs> She's ready. Do your stretching. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You yeah. Sure? Let's go. Let's go. Alright. Cool. Let's go. Um, crazy or calm? Crazy. Okay. Performance or studio tracks? Performance. Okay. Give or receive? Uh, give. Oh. <laughs> Kerry Hilson or Rihanna? Rihanna. Ooh. Upbeats or slow ballad? Slow bangers. Slow ballads? Yes, sir. Okay. Slow ballads. Checks or cash? Cash. Respected or loved? Loved. Manual or automatic? Manual. <laughs> Lazy people. So <laughs> All right, then cool. Milk or water? Water. Very, very good question. Very, 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 very good answer. <laughs> very, very, very good answer. Okay, so I'm just yeah, going to pop around the corner now and then we'll drop you off. Okay. It's been a pleasure. It has. So what are you doing for the rest of your day then? What are you doing? Well, I'm going to go and sort out this tyre. <laughs> uh, fun stuff, you know, expenses <laughs> of a car. And um, yeah, I probably might, I don't know, might hit studio, might go home, might go eat, you know, Sunday and all, Sunday dinner. <laughs> um, and yeah, that, mm, yeah no. who knows, who knows, uh, I don't know. We'll see. No problem, no problem. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I see the tyre place over there, so yeah, like, yeah, so it's just, I'm gonna feel free to just right let Anywhere me know. here, yeah? Yeah, right, that's cool. cool, cool, cool. Alright, my friend. Take care of yourself, Hayley. Thanks for the lift. We'll see you soon, no problem. Peace. See you soon, okay? Later. Cool. Wow, Haley Cassidy, she just jumped on me. I was so scared. I was like, who is that in my whip? Haley Cassidy, oh man. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. It smells nice. Man. Trust me, it's mad. I'm hot in here, man. All that love talk, and that's, that's what it was, I think. All that love talk. Oh, gosh. Damn. I wonder who's going to be next, though. <laughs> Dealing with a boss, not an amateur Drive to the spot like a traveler Don't take no starting, you don't know who will jump in Who will be the passenger Interviewing up and coming TV stars In the back of a tinted car Five to ten minutes, combined with some snickers But you're just going to media